All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It is Tuesday, Tasty Tunage Tuesday. Once again, we are going back to September 27th, 1994. REM releases their sixth studio album. Ninth studio album. <laughs> their ninth studio album, Monster. We've done plenty of REM in this uh, in this last uh, year and a half. Love REM, huge fan. I think they're in the 50 Club, which is uh, a band with at least 50 songs that you love. Uh, and there's really only a select few of those. Maybe we'll talk about that in one episode of the Rock Cave. Uh, but Monster, very different than uh, their previous two albums, including Out of Time, which was more. Uh, melodic and instrumental and a little slower pace they were ready to try something different this one has been described as guitar heavy uh, distorted guitars glam rocks is even used in the term for this record uh, and it debuted at number one of course I mean people were just loving REM I think there were six singles off this record uh, and they toured for the first time in six years for this record uh, so this was a pretty big deal. Uh, they also recorded their next album while on that tour, New Adventures in Hi-Fi, which is also an excellent album that I enjoy. So um, they did a lot of writing and were in, uh, were even some recording on that tour. There was a lot going on with this, this band during this time, during this tour, during this record release, uh, and it was pretty stressful for the band this was maybe that maybe this time was kind of the beginning of the time where they were thinking that they they weren't going to do this uh, forever and ever uh during this time they had to take a break michael stipes two two of michael stipes very good friends uh died uh, kurt cobain being one and he wrote the song let me in based on that event and it's uh, he said it's from the uh, viewpoint of him calling Kurt. It's him on the phone to Kurt, uh, you know, in a dream kind of way, trying to talk to him about not being stressed about all of the fame and everything else. It's a kind of the the theme throughout this record. It has a lot about dealing with fame and all that. Uh, and then the other thing is River Phoenix, who died that year, uh, was a good friend of his, and he dedicated the whole album to him and as a matter of fact his sister rain sang back backup vocals on one of the songs bang and blame um so there was that there was a brain aneurysm on the tour from uh, one of the band members i mean there was just this was pretty heavy stuff for this band but they managed to write in, in uh, a new record during this time too so there's a lot going on uh, as far as the songs are concerned, you got uh, Crush with Eyeliner for singles, Crush with Eyeliner, Star 69, Strange Currencies, Tongue, Bang and Blame, awesome. Uh, that song, Let Me In, was not a single, but uh, that's worth checking out. And of course, the song, What's the Frequency, Kenneth, if you remember Dan Rather being attacked on a street uh, by his total complete stranger, and he said, What's the Frequency, Kenneth, to him? Uh, whatever that means he wrote the song about that so uh, lots of good music on this record your song of the day is what's the frequency kenneth uh, i love that tune that's a good one so that's what you're going to listen to today but if you want dust off monster and listen to the whole thing it's worth it uh, a little rem today on tuesday for all you fans and if you don't know it like i said check it out all right we got wanderlust wednesday tomorrow we're going to a show tomorrow so we're going to talk about that it's going to be tied together uh, and some good stuff later in the week so stick with me but have a great tuesday and as usual i'll catch you on the flip side <laughs>